Hey, how's it going? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Karmic Mechanic Simulator 2021. We're doing the story orders, and uh, right now I've been debating on what to do, whether or not I want to expand my garage with this second lifter, or um, take on the expanding of the back end of the garage. I'm not even sure. Both of them are like 10, well, the, the other lifter is like 2,500. But really, it's not going to help me out. It just gives me, allows me another space to work on stuff. Um, the other thought was to go ahead and get the uh, the test path, which it's going to cost me ten grand. But at least I can run it through the test path and figure out what's wrong with some stuff. So I'm still up in the air about a few things. So maybe I'm going to hold off just a little bit. Um, I did have, uh, I do have a. Three skill points. So let's see. That one's going to cost me four. Uh, what is this for? Ability to fix parts from group one. I don't have the ability to do groups. Parking alley cheaper by two. Don't care. Um, uh, move faster. Uh, okay. And examine parts. Parking alley. Examine parts or run faster. So I'm going to think I'm going to take the running fast or the. Uh, parts there we go and you know um yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that right now so you know what the heck all right so if i did expand it to the second one it'd give me the second lifter over here and i'd be able to move this bus out of here but um still wouldn't do me any good as far as the story orders so i think i'm gonna wait i think i'm gonna try and probably get that test path will probably be their next bet Right here is our next story order. This nice, this is like a nice GMC or a Chevrolet cargo van. These are actually uh, cool vans. I'm glad they had these in the uh, in the game. I'm glad they introduced them in the game. But uh, go ahead and start off and see what this guy has to say. All right, it says hi. My sister recommended your workshop. Truth be told, when I learned the location, I couldn't believe that there was anything standing here at all. And yet, here you are. A great garage. Back to the car. I'm coming with my truck. I use it every day at work. It's a bit worn out, but it's not missing anything. Apart from the engine's crackling and drops in power, I don't see any major problems. But maybe it's a matter of habit. Please take a closer look at the suspension. The car is often carrying some loads. Do the routine checkup and make it usable for a few more years. Thanks. All right, so we've got to change the oil in it, which is typically a no-brainer, and change all of the fluids out. This is going to be interesting. We have pages and pages of things that are wrong with this vehicle. Yikes. I have a feeling this is going to be a complete teardown. I'm seeing some stuff in here already that I am not liking. The suspension is in bad shape, I see already. Uh, Let's go into the back back there. I see some stuff in the back as well. So maybe doing the test path is probably not a bad thing to get. To get a good idea of what we have going on. So yeah, I'm going to have to take the plunge. I'm going to have to purchase. The, I'm just going to have to purchase the test, test, test path. Because I believe I'm going to have some really huge problems with this. Okay, first and foremost, let's do some testing. Of the testing I have here, take a look at some of the electronics. Try to get get a hold of anything. Looks like that alternator is pretty shot, so that's... Uh, fuses seem to be okay. Um, yeah, for the most part, alternator and starter, bad shape. Okay, so we at least found two of the parts. Uh, next up would be the compression tester. Uh, the engine can't be started. Son of a gun. So. Okay, so that's heart-wrenching right there. That means there is something definitely wrong with this bad boy. And it looks like we're going to have to tear the engine down to do it. Uh, if it's not running, I don't even think I can run it on the test pass. So. Let's try to take it over to the test path and see if we can get some to shake out of this thing. Um, let's see. 
There's no oil in the engine. You can't perform this action. That's why it won't start, maybe? Okay, well, let's put some oil in it. She brought the van in without any oil in it. What the heck? She uses it every day for work, and yet I, I'm getting it here without any without any oil. Okay. Let's try it again. Engine can't be started. So I can't even, I wasted 10 grand and I can't even start the freaking engine. What? I am such a freaking doofus. All right. So. <sighs> wow. All right. So here we go. Um, I have no way of tearing anything out. Um, so this is what we're going to have to do. Let's just start draining fluids and just start doing it little by little. How is everyone doing? I am doing just great until I got this Yahoo in here. I thought I was doing well. Um, someone had asked me in the YouTube channel, um, how's my puppy? My puppy is a maniac. <laughs> That's about the, the best that I can, I can describe her at this point. She's just a lunatic. In the morning, she is great. But in the afternoon, man, she is rambunctious. Two to seven. She's nonstop puppy. No lie. Um, she's just she's just crazy. All right, so I may have to take this out. So let's see. Oh, I, I can wait a minute. I can take that out from up here. That's interesting. Um, let's take the let's see. The wires are in bad shape. The distributor is horrible. Uh, alternator's in bad shape. Uh, fuel filter definitely a goner um all right so let's um let's go ahead and do i have to i may have to i may have to take a look inside that transmission just to make sure we got we have things on the up and up and if i have to pull the crank out that's something else too and i've got to drain the oil in here anyway so uh okay so what i thought was going to be a simple job has turned into a nightmare Let's get you out of the way. And let's take the oil pan off. I have a feeling, I have a deep suspicion that, yes! <sighs> Look how horrible that is. That crank is shot. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a complete engine teardown. Great. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. <sighs> All right, so let's just have to tear down from from the get-go. All right. So this was not part of what I was thinking I was going to be doing today. Definitely going to take me a lot longer than I had suspected, that's for sure. Take that off. Let's get everything out of here. Power steering doesn't look bad. The alternator is in horrible shape. Definitely, so I can't repair that bad boy. Um, turn everything down up front here. Okay. Look, the rollers look like they're in good shape, so that's good. Um, that bushing's bad. That bushing's bad. I can already tell that. So, crank is going to have to come out. So, that's a bad, bad situation there, which means I have to tear this entire engine down. Not, um, like I said, not in my plans for today, but don't know how they got it in here without any oil in it to be quite honest with you but hey we'll take this all down because I know what's going to happen here look at this the crank is in bad shape the chain is in bad shape gear and that and that that thing is in horrible shape the camshaft appears to be in decent shape and how I got that out without any assist without having to take anything else out is amazing to me to be quite honest with you how did that happen uh, air filters in bad shape um, 
Carb. Carb looks okay. So we are going to reuse that, that's for sure. Um, are my clips on here? Clips look like they're in good shape. Distributor shot. Rotor is shot. <clears throat> Distributor itself isn't in bad shape, so that's a good thing. You know, as soon as I take uh, as soon as I take these head covers off, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna die because I I can only imagine what's underneath these things. <sighs> I'm gonna have to take the heads off too. Jeez. Yeah, look at this. Look, look at that. Look, it's just okay. So, she's this thing's in horrible shape. It's a total rebuild of the engine, pretty much. I mean, look at the spark plugs. Spark plugs are in bad shape. I may have to, you know, I shouldn't have, uh, maybe I shouldn't have got that test pad because I'll probably use the money for this build, that's for sure. I think, I think I may have shot myself in the foot on this one. Rods are in good shape, I guess. Now, some of the rods are bad, so it looks like I'm going to have to spend the money and tear this bad boy down. Hopefully, I can keep some of the cash um, aside. Poof. Okay, let's get myself over here. There we go. Uh, come on. There we go. These things are in horrible shape. This is, yeah, this is, instead of me trying to figure out each and every individual piece, I'm going to have to rebuild the engine. Some things I won't have, like the head itself, I'm not going to have to worry about the heads. Heads look like they're in decent shape. Give a little uh, spray lube there and we can take the bolts out of here. We'll take a peek at the pistons. Uh, two pistons, definitely shot. So... That's at least that side. Ah, man, this is just a horrible, horrible way to start my morning. Oh my goodness! All right. I like the I like the way this engine's set up, though. I do like the look of this engine. So, be interesting. I will have to take that transmission off, I believe, because I got to take the crankshaft out. So. And all the pistons. So yeah, this is a complete teardown here. I'm trying to think of a way to get this done without tearing it completely down, but there's no way. This is a this is a down to the block repair here, and then having to go through the the suspension pieces. So I see a lot in the suspension that needs some needs some help. But man, when you see four pages, four pages of repair work, you know you're in for a long, long night. A lot of mods hitting the workshop, man. I am loving the looks of some of these shop, these uh, mods. Uh, head out there, support your modder. Support your favorite modder out there by downloading their mods. It is awesome to see some of the stuff that's coming out of there. Okay, so I've got one piston that's in bad shape there. So no matter what, the underneath, I'm going to have to go underneath and just repair everything from underneath. I'm going to have to disassemble the rest of it, or for the most part, disassemble the lower end. And then come back up here and take care of this. Uh, should I go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and take the drive shaft out because I just feel like I'm going to need to. Uh, take the transmission out. Let's see what the clutch assembly looks like. I have a feeling that might be an issue too, but maybe not. No, actually, oh yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Hang on. We do have some do have some rust in there, so it looks like the 
flywheel or the clutch itself needs to be repaired? Probably the clutch. Yep, clutch is in bad shape. And we take the flywheel off too. There we go. All right, now for the underneath here, let's uh, just uh, see. We have a rod cap that's in bad shape here too. So everything is in bad shape. Yeah. So we have a couple caps. Like I said, this is going to have to be a an interior and an a fully rip. full overhaul of this engine which I should have I should have done man. man I just wow I'm you know I'm, I'm sitting here kicking myself I should not have done it I thought eh you know that'll make it easy shame on me from thinking that it's going to be easy okay can I get in there for those yeah Okay, I can't take that out until I take the pistons out. I have to take the pistons out from up above. <laughs> Fan's in rough shape, man. Okay, so let's go ahead and take all pistons out. Now that we've got all those out, then I can take the crankshaft out. And there we go. Whew. Okay, complete engine teardown is complete. Alright, so let's take a look here. Um, let's go by um, sorting them by name. Right, engine which is most of the parts I have here. So let's see, what do I need here? I need an air filter, I need an alternator, cam gear, crankshaft, one, two, three, crankshaft bearings, filter, wires, rotor, cap, filter, um, eight of those. We're just going to go ahead and get eight pistons. Uh, rockers. We'll get all those rockers. Rod caps, spark plugs, serpentine belt. Uh, rods. We'll get the rods as well. Okay. So I'm basically going to build the entire engine from scratch is basically what I'm going to end up doing here. Um, oh man, I got uh, I forgot to clear this out. Brake pads, race tire. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, I think we go there. So, so we'll go ahead and do that alternator. Oh, um, we need to go to electronics for the alternator. Alternator. Okay, let's go back to car parts. Cam gear. Crankshaft. Crankshaft bearing times three. Oil filter. Uh, ignition wires. Oh, ignition wires are over in the I got the rotor. I guess the distributor ignition caps here too. What about um, no spark plugs? Let's get eight of those bad boys. We're just gonna clean those up and put them in there. Serpentine belt push rods. Yeah, the rest of it is. Um, the rest of it will be in the engine area. Two 
filter. Uh, piston rings. Eight of those. Piston with Conrad. We're going to replace all of those. And it's better just to replace them all because pff, you never know what you're going to get. I'm going to go full 16 on those. And I know I'm not going to get my money back out of this thing, but it's it'll save me. Um, it'll save me in the end. I'm having to go back into it to get 16 of those. All right, down to 10k. Oh my god. Um, okay. So. Let's take a look at my inventory and dump out some stuff. Let's collect some cash back. Uh, everything looks good here, here, and here. Wall pan. Reason why I'm doing it singly, because I don't want to accidentally delete something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have some control over it this way. Spark plugs, get rid of all of them except for the one I want to use. Ooh, I needed a starter and a timing chain. So I need a starter, timing chain. Uh, okay, so starter and a timing chain. Uh, starter is going to be in electronics, so, so go with the uh, starter, yep, and then, uh, oh, um, uh, timing chain here. go all right so we've got that piece of it starters out timing chain is out close to back up to 11 grand for this that's not too shabby of telling off all these parts ah uh, okay so okay so let's start installing some of the stuff this is who <laughs> this is brutal here needed a clutch too so I'm gonna have to okay so this should have three of these bad boys there we go there's the other one um, flywheel I can reattach I needed a clutch so let's jump in and find a clutch uh, Oh, timing chain. I was wondering what the heck was going on there. Um, I need a clutch. Thank you. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this back here taken care of real quick. Yeah, no matter what she says, I'm not giving her a brand new clutch and transmission on this thing. Are you crazy? Some things I just have to lay the line on. And we'll go ahead and install the uh, drive shaft. Why not?
Yeah, the suspension is in bad shape. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Look at this bad boy. All right, let's do a quick jump out here. Um, go to engine, fuel. If I can get a fuel pump over there. Thank you. There we go. Now back to where my regularly scheduled program up here. Um, can I put the pistons in from down here? I don't know if I can or not. Will it let me? No. It absolutely will not. Go figure. What am I doing? There we go. We've got the oil filter in. Okay. Let's lower it down so we can get stuff in the top. <laughs> It'll be nice to expand this garage, but uh, for now, uh, I don't mind it. Now the heads are down to 61%. Um, Was there a certain percentage? Uh, minimum of 59%. So, okay. It's not too shabby. We repaired a lot of things already. Looks like we've got a lot of stuff already identified. Uh, a lot of these back here, it looks like it's going to be suspension related. So, definitely. Uh, I'm finding some suspension parts that are in really bad shape, so let me get in here and get the spark plugs in here. Well, I tried to get the spark plugs in there. I can see how this can be a pain in the balls. Jeez. All right, so that side's done. Let's see here. This seems a little bit slower as far as assembly. It just does. I don't know what the controls is. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten enough of the speed. Maybe that's what it is. I need more speed. And my skills box over there. I'm used to. You know, going fairly quickly. So maybe that's what my problem is. Maybe I need, I need to speed it up a little bit. My wrenching doesn't seem to be too bad, but it's the installation process. It seems to go real slow. So we got maybe a set of roller rockers on here. That's pretty cool. And engine cover, valve cover. All right. Okay, so the problem here is, right, we put that in. I should have had to have been able to put the camshaft in first. Now, it said, hang on. That's a 55%. Um... Camshaft. It was a camshaft on that list. Cam gear. Damn, there's more parts than I thought there was. Okay, so cam gear is the camshaft itself is not on there. So we're just going to go ahead and wing it. We're going to go ahead and put the camshaft back in it and hope for the best. most part I'm going to go all the way around the engine and I can put this bad boy back together. She will be happy with it though when I get done with it. Why? Because. I 
It'll have a lot more power than what it did, that's for sure. Yeah, it may not look any better, but it will run better. Definitely. All right. So for the most part, that side's all put together in time to Nothing like rebuilding the engine inside the vehicle itself. I've had to do it a couple of times. Early in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, I had to do it to a couple of vehicles just because I didn't have the ability to take them out. So it it does it is a pain in the butt. Let's see if I can get these spark plugs in without having to disturb anything here. Oh, that's not going to happen. We'll just go ahead and put that intake on there, or the exhaust manifold on there. Ah, intake. The distributor wasn't in bad shape. It was the rotor. And the um, cap here that were in horrible shape. Even the caps were in good shape. So that's, or I should say the clips were in good shape. So that's good. Wires were horrific. So that's done. Okay, before I put the air filter on, I need to go ahead and get these heads wrapped up. Afraid after putting that air filter on, it may be in the way, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being drama. Who knows? So I'd love to hear what you have to say about Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Do you like it? Do you love it? I know a lot of people don't like the mini games in it. Some of them I like, some of them I don't. Uh, I don't think it actually. Uh, what? Did I not get enough of these? <gasps> what? You're kidding me, right? Um, where did my shopping list have it? Rod cap. Push rod. I need one more of you. And I probably would have gotten the wrong one, so it's a good thing I looked at that. I must have deleted one by accident. See, and that's what I tried to uh, eliminate. By deleting them one at a time, I tried to eliminate deleting too many parts, and I still did it. As they will say, all people are fallible. We are not perfect. Though some think they are. I don't know if you've had a chance to check it out or not, but the Junkyard Simulator hit uh, Steam a few days ago. So I would encourage you to take a look at some of the videos on it before you purchase it. I've got a few videos out there. I actually had the game before it came out, which was a blessing. Playway was able to, you know, get it to me. And I love that they that love I have that, um, that, that kind of reputation with uh, one of the developers there. I, I love it. Um, so hats off to Playway for that, but um, um, I honestly, uh, I really, uh, I want to get back into it a little bit more. There was a few bugs with it uh, earlier. Oh yeah, no, we can't, uh, we can't do that until we put in the bottom stuff. I'm an idiot. Um, they've had a, uh, just came out with a brand new update, so yeah, 
Um, take a look at that. Take a look at the view videos, and if you like it, by all means, uh, grab it. I, I think it'll be fun. I plan on doing it for a little bit just to see what's going on. As a matter of fact, after I get done doing a couple of these videos, I want to head over there and cut one of those. Um, shipyard, our ship graveyard uh, simulator is another one I was playing around with. Probably not as much, I don't think. Um, I mean, it, it it's okay. It doesn't really have anything as an element um, of what to do in it. Like, well, you know, actually, Karma King Simulator really doesn't. I mean, there's little odd stories. Uh, people, you know, you, you make stuff for people, different ores. And you go to these, you order these wrecks in and you bring them in and you actually strip them of all their metal. And when you strip them from all their metal, um, um, oh, I got the uh, line. That's why it's, I was, I was wondering why that was glowing over there. Um, hang on, we'll go over there and look at it. Because we purchased, well, actually, you know what? Now that I've got the engine together, we should be able to use the uh, test path over there. So let's um, let's fill everything back up. Take it for a spin over there. I already know. I, I can tell by most of this that there's a lot of suspension pieces that are in horrible shape here. Um, I probably don't need the test path for it, to be quite honest with you. When I saw all the parts that needed to be done, I naturally assumed it was the entire suspension. And maybe that was probably an assumption uh, I should not have made. Um, because now I'm out 10 grand. So far, though, I haven't dropped below 10 grand in my checkbook. So that's a good thing. I do notice though that my next level, this is up, uh, this is story order 9. So to get to story order 10, I'm going to have to do a few more orders because my experience level, I'm not even a third of the way to my 900 points for my experience level. So I'm going to have to do some, uh, I'm going to have to do some jobs on the side. Definitely. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can send you over to the test path now. There. Uh, move car to the test path. All right, so here's my test path. So this is going to be the wheel alignment tool, which the wheels look pretty good on, and headlight alignment tool, which um, I'm not really caring about right now. Right now, I'm actually worried about the uh, the suspension and the brakes. So here we go. Boy, this thing's in bad shape. I may have to. Oh, the brakes are in bad shape too. Okay. Is there anything that is not any look at this crap wow okay so it looks like a complete overhaul of the suspension on this as well um, also what I would like to do is um, let's see here um, where are my want to let's move the car into the garage because I can't seem to figure out what I need to do here <clears throat> it's like holy crap this thing's in bad shape I want to let's see here I want to check the tires out see if I need to pull any tires off
Nope, oh, tires are in good shape, so that's a good thing. You don't have to replace any tires on there. Alright, up, up, and away. Let's clean up my inventory here. Okay. And this is looking horrible here. But at least the tires are in decent shape, so I don't have to worry too much about that. The brakes are in horrible shape here. Just going to do a whole complete strip down and hope for the best here. Because this is in horrible shape. It's in need of shocks, bushings. Jeez. So at least this is one of those easy to break down rear ends. It's easy to take care of. The only thing that's left is the rear axle. I mean, I mean, is there anything left to examine on that? I don't think so, right? Wow, I picked up a couple of those bolts and didn't even... I don't think the test path even picked up. Now you may wonder why I'm doing this, because I've already went it through the test path, but it does uh, help out with the scoring of uh, my experience points to help me out. So every time I do any type of uh, an inspection like this, it'll help me out, definitely. Um, definitely trying to get as many points as possible while I'm working on these story orders so I can just roll right into story order number 10 which is pr probably not the case at this point I wouldn't have to do a couple other stories so that's going to be a bummer so hoping to roll right into story order 10 and be good but <laughs> I, I'm not so lucky I'm not so lucky Look at this bad boy. I've got two bolts here that are in bad shape. You know, it's amazing. Like I said earlier, did they even be able to bring this car in because, or this van in? It was in bad shape. Jeez. It's amazing how the knuckle is all bad and the that cover isn't. Well, at least the rear end doesn't have to be replaced, so that's a good thing. You know, with all these fluids, I'm surprised I don't have rear end fluid. <laughs> I know, don't give them any ideas, right? Okay, um, so inventory time. Um, first and foremost, um, let's uh, clear this. There we go. Uh, let's go to inventory. We are sorting by name. Yep. Two of those. One, two, three... Four of those, two of those, two of those, one, two, three, four of those. Roger that. So leaf spring uh, times two, U bolt times four, reaxle C times two. Shock absorber times two. Uh, small rubber bushing times four. Good deal. Open shopping list, clear. That way I can just get right back into it. When I start up the front end, I know the front end is going to be just as bad. Looks like the shocks are in horrible shape up there, so that's... 
I mean, once they're, I mean, it would be easy enough just to figure out just uh, one or two pieces that are bad in it and just replace those, but I think it's probably going to be better off just replacing the entire, uh, replacing the entire shock instead of taking them apart. Now, I would save money um, taking it apart and just buying the pieces I need, but it also, time is of the essence. So sometimes money... Time is money sometimes, and it's just bright sometimes just better off. Uh... Oh, wait a minute, I need brake pads. Um, yeah, I need brake pads. Do, 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 do. Delete. Brake pads times two. Thank you. Forgot about the brake pads. There we go. You know, I didn't even think about it until just a few minutes ago. We've been playing this game for I don't know how long, right? And all of the bolts to put in the wheels, they're, they're actual bolts. Like, you know, you have on, I think it's the beamers that have bolts instead of lugs. Like, we have lugs that are on, um, on the axle. The lugs are, like, inserted into the axle. And we mount the wheels to the lugs, right? This is bolts. We are actually bolting the wheel into the drive axle. But usually the drive axle has lugs that we would stick out and we would just put um, the wheel on. But I, why did I? Why did I don't? Why did I think of that? That I don't know. I, why did I just think of that? I don't know. Well, the entire time we've been doing these these videos, and it's the first time. It's, maybe it's the first time it's come to. Uh, revelation, I guess. I don't know. All right. Uh, anything in my toolbox? We sell the parts. Yes, we want to sell everything here. Yes. Whew. Okay, I'm still above ten grand, but I'm getting ready to drop below that when I tear into this front suspension because I know right now it is going to be in bad, bad shape. Ah. Uh. At least the suspension itself is not in bad shape. So I'm just going to have to take, uh, see what all I need to take off here. At hub is bad. Okay, so that's not too bad. Yep, yeah, that's going to take that off. I'm going to have to take that off. Yeah, that sucks. Um, okay, so take the shock absorber off. Shock absorber doesn't really tell you what kind of shape it's in until you take it apart. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, that bushing doesn't look too bad. Uh, I know this one up here looks horrible. Come on. There we go. Uh, I want to do a quick look over here. Uh, everything looks okay there. I thought maybe the outer tie rod was in bad shape, but it doesn't look bad.
Yeah, so both the bushings are a horrible shape on that. See, for the shock, it doesn't tell you, so that's interesting. Um, lower. That and the sway bar. And let's see, how does that bushing? Let's see, hang on, let's, uh, where's my examination? There we go. I think we're good. I don't see anything in red. So I think we're, I think we're good. Alrighty. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, let's just uh, open this back up. Okay, arms are good. Oh, the oh, that's what I was gonna do. Uh, for the springs, looks like it's just the springs themselves that are in bad shape. So let's take a look here. Yep, it's the springs themselves. So we will just buy the springs. Inventory. All right, let's get two of those. Uh, sway bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Two bearings. I think that's it. All right. Inventory. Nope, nope, nope. All right. So suspension. Here we go. Front spring times two. There we go. Sway bar one, rubber pushing times eight. Wheel hub times two. So not too terribly bad on the front end. Yep, and I've dropped it down below 10 grand. Aha, uh -huh, man, that sucks. Definitely need to get some points for the screwing here. <laughs> get some points for screwing. That sounds off. Because, um, yeah, get some speed going here, that's for sure. Um, I need some brake stuff too. Hang on. So, we need. Um, let's look at our brakes. I need two of those and two of those. All right. Wish that would clear on its own. So I need two of you and two of the ventilated discs. There we go. No bearing. Uh, but this this fan is going to be driving like brand new when I get done with it, man. Okay. It'll let me put the wheel on, and I don't even have the I don't have the springs in. Okay, so instead of replacing the entire spring, I did go with the unmount and just replace what I thought we needed. Um, I'm hoping, hopeful that it will let me do that. Find out here in a minute. I am reusing some of the bushings, so... Um, let's see what happens here. Uh, let's see here. Disc. Brakes. Bearing. Cap. Anything else in here? I need to put the bushings in here.
These are better than what they were, so we'll see what happens here. Oh, this is an odd way of doing it. I'm doing it from across there. Okay, so for the most part, I should have this down. Um, but yeah, it's not letting me for some reason. It is not. Got a rubber bushing out, rubber bushing. Two rubber bushings. <laughs> Guess which ones those are. Jeez. Man, talk about punishment. I knew it. I just knew it. <sighs> All right. Those bushings don't look bad back there. So I'm going to assume it was these two that I had to replace because these two were the worst ones. Okay, so with that in mind, am I good? Yeah, I'm good now. Yep, see, so I should have just, you know, when you take them all apart, you really just need to replace them all. Done that, changed the oil, and I refilled all of the fluids. Wow. That, my friends, was one of the longest, was one of the longest work orders I've ever had to deal with. Sell orders, sell parts, sell them all. Let's see. Did not get myself up about 10 grand, but hey. All right, so that is that for today. I am glad you joined me. This bolt is done. Cha-ching. Okay, we're back up to 17 grand, so not too, too bad. We did get the test path going. Um, I did wipe out everything there. Okay, so I need to do a couple of odd jobs to get myself up into... Oh, wait a minute. I am at level 10. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, with that, uh, no matter what, I've got these little dust particles everywhere. Um, thanks for hanging with me. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I have hope to see you back here for Story Order 10 next week. Until then, Sirs Quasar signing off, saying goodnight. Stay happy and stay healthy. I am out.